Hello everyone, it's Jason here, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. This is a bit of a cover video, because my webcam is acting up. I don't want to do any series that, if I make progress and I don't get on camera, it will mess everything up. I just want to do a little video. Uh, this is kind of like a little tutorial video, I guess. This is how to build, and I guess I might do a second part of the, the, second part of the video, on how to play Payload. So if you don't know what payload is, uh, this is a map that I made on Minecraft uh, all by myself. Thought the idea. Uh, I did get it from a TF2 map called Payload, where one team pushes a bomb car along like some rails, and they have to blow, uh, they have to push it into like a pit, and then it blows up, and then uh, yeah. So yeah, it's really fun. The defending, the attacking team have to push the carts. The defending team have to stop the attacking team from pushing it into their base uh, by a certain time limit. So, here's how you build the map. What you'll need is, uh, first of all, a, a preferably a temple. The temple, or a, it doesn't have to be a temple. It can be any building where you can store a ton of TNT. And basically, oh, little forest fire. It can be basically any building where you can store like a ton of TNT, and it, you, you can put rails in, and it looks cool. So here we have the enemy of all Minecraft farm employees, the Farmco TNT dump. So this is the Farmco TNT dump. We I hate Farmco. They copied me. They think they're the better farming industry. Poly polywaggle. That's what I say to them. Polywaggle. That's not even a word. Anyways, so here's where the the red team will spawn, also known as the defenders. Uh, and here's where the magic happens. So Aside, aside the like kind of temple that you'll need or building where the TNT is, you will need three villages. The villages will act as checkpoints, uh, but I'll go go into detail about those in a minute. So, what should the temple have? Well, first of all, I knock off the blue wool part, go in here and uh, activate the TNT. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Uh, then put, replace that hole with like masses of TNT. And more TNT when then you can shake a stick at. Put some activator rails where the bomb will drop in. I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out of out game. Anyways, so if it plays line with TNT, then you know you're doing a good job. Uh, the defending team should also have their spawn here, meaning it really is the end if like if they like if the bomb car gets pushed in. Because the spawn point in this in this place is like over in that jungle. Somewhere in that jungle over there. So, anyways, the carts and the cart tracks themselves uh, should be fairly straightforward with not too many turns. Uh, if if a bomb goes around uh, a very violent turn very fast, it will explode. At some point, you may wish to put uh, little parts like this, where you can switch around. The attacking or defending team can switch around where they want the bomb carts to go. Um. If for, it could work for any team. For the attacking team, if the defending team have got like a particular spot with the rails very well blocked, you can take a de uh, like a detour route around it. And for the defending team, uh, for the defending team, you could screw the attacking team by switching around the rails, so they have to take uh, a trickier route to get past. The defenders themselves should probably have some very heavy armor and good weaponry. Um, so they can do their jobs, as well as ender pearls, so they can get around quite easily. Uh, this is one of the villages. Now you'll notice this. This is uh, an activator rail set up to when a minecart push it goes past it, this little leg blows up. When the egg blows up, that signifies that the blue team can move any kind of like beds or spawn points they have. They can move it into this town. They can sleep for a few seconds, and it'll set their spawn. I should point out that the defending team aren't allowed to attack beds or bomb carts at this point. Might become uh, relevant. You can also take, you're also very much allowed to take any food you want from the villagers. Um, the, you, this, this will become very handy because you will run out of hunger quite quickly. So you can give uh, the players food to spawn with. I would, uh, for this, uh, advise to put keep inventory on. Um, so yeah. Uh, this is, those are all the checkpoints. I've explained all the defending stuff. Now the attacking stuff. With the attacking team, you can... What you can do is you have to push the pop, pillow cart. You can't have got, You have to run with it. 
along the along the tracks and push it around all the careful turns whilst just uh, attacking the defending team who will be trying to stop you. Uh, you will be. Uh, I think I'd arm most uh, uh, def attacking teams with fairly good armor, but not any OP armor, and some knockback sticks, as well as plenty of splash potions. Hello, Mr. Villager. Pleased to meet you. Anyways, uh, yeah, all this stuff, all this stuff necessary. Uh, yeah, uh, I would pull the stuff preferably quite close together. So the players know where all the stuff is, you know, when you're playing with that one idiot who doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, you got the Minecraft with TNT, and it's all good. So this is part one of how, this is how to make a payload map, I guess. Really, when you're going into a world, what you're looking for is a very lucky spawn. You want three villages, if not four, I guess, for the spawn. Well, you can make a spawn up, I guess. Uh, it saves you, like, a ton of work. Uh, also, you can like edit art parts of the landscape to form the form them all you want. But guys, just take a look at the natural landscape. Uh, if you want to go for a naturalistic kind of game game view, kind of like Hunger Games. If you leave, if you just spawn in a normal world and you know you leave it like it is, don't tamper with the uh, thing, don't flatten out the land or anything. It, it actually looks very majestic. And that's what I did with this payload map. I just add in a few things here and there. I didn't alter the world too badly. So this is how to build a payload map. Join me next time for how to play payload like a pro. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.